This is a check for 10 millions. If you wanted to take it, you had to walk through this 150 meter high bridge. This game required great concentration, or you would fall and break into pieces. This life betting game was just an after meal pastime of the rich. The more people died, the more excited those rich men felt. Everyone felt worried to play this game. So did they, but because of poverty, they had no other choice. To increase the difficulty of the game, they even electrified the bridge. The players had to put on their shoes to walk. Seeing the bridge, Kaiji came up with an idea. He took out a marker and drew a line on the middle of the shoe. This would help them keep their balance and go straight. Everyone understood and followed Kaiji. It seemed easy but it actually didn't. Kaiji stepped on the bridge, tried his best to overcome the fear inside him. Taking a deep breath, he tried to calm down and avoided looking down. But it was very hard, Kaiji couldn't help and looked down. So high was it that once he fell down, he would surely die. Kaiji hurriedly walked forwards, he was shaking. Fortunately, he finally could keep the balance. Kaiji was so regretful now, he wanted to give up. But if he hadn't joined this game, how could he pay off his 9 million debt? This was his only chance. Meanwhile, there was thunder and lightning. If it rained, the game would be very difficult. Don't worry, it isn't windy yet, Kaiji said. Right after he finished saying that, the wind started to blow. The number one player started to feel hopeless. After a few steps, he fell down and his hands touched the electrified bridge. Immediately he was electrocuted and died on the spot. There was someone dead, people started panicking. The number six player touched the bridge and was electrocuted to faint and then fell down. The number four was blown down. The number five wanted to go back and as a result, he fell down with the number seven. Then it started raining, there were only three players. The number three repeatedly hit his leg and stepped forwards. Kaiji plucked up all his courage and intended to move on, but the old man behind him couldn't take it anymore. He took out his 10 million check and begged him to give it to his daughter. Kaiji agreed with him. When Kaiji turned around, the old man fell down. Kaiji and the number three encouraged each other and eventually they reached the other side. But when the number three opened the window, there was atmospheric pressure, causing him to fall down. Unexpectedly, he couldn't live even when he finished the game. Kaiji was extremely hopeless. But what's worse, after paying the debt, he didn't gain much money. And the check he had received from the old man was invalid, because he didn't complete the game so his check was valueless. At this time, the boss decided to give Kaiji a chance. The reward was 10 millions, if he wanted it he had to win another game. They started to introduce the rules. It was like animal chess, each player had 5 cards. One had an emperor card with 4 citizen cards, and the other had a slave card with 4 citizen cards. In the game, citizen card and citizen card is a draw. The citizen beats the slave, the emperor beats the citizen, and the slave beats the emperor. So the key points of this game were the emperor and the slave. The emperor cards had more power, and the slave only had one-tenth probability of winning. To get that one million, Kaiji had to take a risk, he chose the slave cards. In the first turn, both of them used the citizen. That continued in the second turn. In the third, they had to take risk, Kaiji used his slave card. But his expression was seen through by the opponent. He used the citizen card so Kaiji lost the game. He laughed at Kaiji and said he had the mind reading ability. He knew that when Kaiji put down the slave card, he would stretch forwards. When he was proudly laughing at Kaiji, his boss picked up the glass and threw at him. He scolded him and said he was so stupid. He should have tolerated and trapped Kaiji and forced him to bet for his finger or anything else. That would make the game more exciting. The boss lent Kaiji 390,000. If he lost, he would have to clean up his company for 130 years. Kaiji was at his dead end, he placed three citizen cards on the table. While he was thinking, he discovered that the opponent didn't watch his expression. He seemed like a student sneakily using his phone during class. The opponent knew he was discovered and urged Kaiji to place his card. Kaiji turned the card and it was the slave. The opponent's face turned pale. When he thought he surely won, a weird smile appeared on his opponent. He used the citizen card, Kaiji lost again. Before being thrown out by the guards, he found out that the opponent's watch was abnormal. After a while thinking, he realized that the watch was a cheating tool. The one he had worn before the game was different from that watch. It turned out that Kaiji was tricked. He was spied and they could know his heart rate and guessed his cards. Learning that, Kaiji pretended to use the toilet. He was about to borrow money from Rinko, who was escorting him. He convinced her to cooperate with him because he had a plan which could help him win the game. Coincidentally, Rinko used to be a colleague of his opponent. After being promoted, he looked down on her. This time was her chance to avenge. Rinko immediately gave Kaiji a 5 million check. The boss agreed to let him play again. Kaiji stood in front of the mirror, and suddenly he hit his head on it. 
only until when it started to bleed, this would help him win the game and get 10 millions. Kaiji sat down and put three citizen cards on his chair. Then he turned over the slave and citizen on the table. When people were paying attention on the boss, he grabbed a citizen and sneakily swapped it with the one on the table. But this was discovered by his opponent. Kaiji angrily criticized the rich for oppressing the poor people like him. And his blood was splashed on the cards. Because Kaiji was too angry, the watch couldn't monitor his heart rate. So the opponent's watch was now useless. Kaiji cleaned the blood stain on the cards, his plan was going right. The opponent lost his cheating tool, so he had to prioritize the draws. In the first turn, they both used the citizen. In the second turn, Kaiji played first. The opponent started to be confused, but he suddenly found that there was bloodstain on the card, which meant it was the citizen or the slave, so he chose to use the citizen. They drew again, it was okay, because he knew the next bloodstained card would definitely be the slave. When Kaiji put down a bloodstained card, he immediately used his citizen card, but then he was a bit hesitant. Kaiji once cleaned the cards, he must have known about the bloodstained cards. Before that, he sneakily changed the cards so the bloodstained cards were surely the citizen. When he thought he would win, he used the emperor card. When Kaiji turned over his card, he said, because you've seen everything, you'll definitely know that I swapped the cards, but actually, I just pretended to. Kaiji knew what his opponent thought. Kaiji's victory caused the boss to hit the roof and throw the man out, and Kaiji won the reward. After that, he gave five millions back to Rinko. Unexpectedly, she sold him off and Anaised hetized him. When Kaiji woke up, Rinko had disappeared and left him a letter. She wrote, I gave you 5 millions and the interest is 3% per minute. After paying the debt, you have 430,000 left. In the end, Kaiji gave the old man's daughter all his money and then got back to his poor life. But I believe that he's very smart and bright. Don't ever give up, man. When you're fighting to become the best version of yourself, the great things you've always been chasing will find their way to you.